and there were <laughs> there were three people right there. This was the moment when a person who went across state lines and ended the lives of two people appeared to break down on the stand at his trial. How shocked are we that 17 year olds with rifles decided they had to maintain order when no one else would? Many noted he was able to squeeze out one single tear in his crying escapade in Kenosha. Earlier in that night, I didn't want to have to shoot him. But you understand how dangerous it is to point a gun at someone, don't you? As we noted previously, there was another time where Rittenhouse tried his darndest to cry once more, this time to no avail. It was a performance many didn't buy, including Los Angeles Lakers superstar LeBron James, tweeting, what tears? I didn't see one. Man, knock it off. That boy ate some lemon heads before walking into court. What was interesting to many was those who attacked LeBron James and defended a man on trial for murder, Kyle Rittenhouse. Typical hater Candace Owens wrote of the dude from Antioch who pulled the trigger, the kind of people who thought O.J. Simpson was innocent are the same people who believe that Kyle Rittenhouse is guilty. Facts don't matter to emotionally indoctrinated zombies only feelings do. Hang on, who thinks OJ was innocent? Nonetheless, it wasn't just Owens, no Surrey Bob. It was a special Karen who cried out cancel culture on, well, Owens' show, home to more than half a million subscribers, Janelle Evans. Next time there's grown adults making fun of your kids, don't try and defend them when you act the same way the teen mom person wrote. My kids watched Space Jam and looked up to you. Now I know what type of person you are. Hashtag truth. Oh, and Mr. Jordan's version was way better, lol. So in what appears to be her clear defense of Kyle Rittenhouse, who when not on trial rocks a free as F word T while giving the white power salute with domestic terrorist group the Proud Boys at bars, Evans, in a not so shocking move, made her Twitter her account private. She was then subsequently dropped from her clothing line. Been crying all morning, she wrote. Sorry to let everyone's hopes up, but the company has dropped me because of haters. Here's the thing. Maybe they just didn't want to do business with you because of your stance with this case. It might not have anything to do with haters, as she claims, but more so a company stance on Kyle freaking Rittenhouse. The announcement came just days after Janelle proudly announced the line on her social media. In a cringy TikTok video posted to all of her accounts, the former Teen Mom 2 star sobs with the camera zoomed in close to show off the tears. She filmed herself doing this. It could also be because her husband, David, was charged with a DWI in 2012. 2013, and two times in 2014. In another tweet, she came to Rittenhouse's aide claiming he was suffering from a panic attack on the stand when the prosecution was pressing the 18-year-old on his actions from that fateful night. Kodak Turk wrote on Twitter, so Janelle Evans said nothing about George Floyd being killed, but thinks she can try to check LeBron James on his morals over this Kyle whatever his name's case. Somebody get me out of the twilight zone. As recently as today, Judge Bruce Schroeder in the Rittenhouse trial dismissed misdemeanor gun charges. Rittenhouse is still facing multiple felony accounts, including two counts of homicide. Jury deliberations could begin as early as Monday afternoon.